Welcome to another USD CAD update. Okay, so I just put out my recent idea, which is basically this right here. So I just wanted to elaborate on this and just say a couple of things before we zoom into the current wave. Now, first thing I want you to understand is have a look at the A wave in brackets and tell me how much has it corrected so far? 50%? Well, you'd be right. And then we saw a bounce for B. Right now, I'll, for the longest time, I try to figure this out. And, you know, look, Arius wave is like the Iron Man suit, right? And just say I'm Tony Stark. Now, I made Arius wave, but as you know, Tony took a long time to get used to his own suit that he developed, right? It took a long time to get it right. He smashed up a few things. He got a few things wrong before it actually came good, right? So you could look at Arius Wave today as like Mark 50. Mark 50 of the Iron Man suit, right? And it's getting that good now that it's, it's, it's pretty impressive, right? We're seeing some pretty good things happen. But it's only the beginning, right? And we're trying to use everything possible to get it right so that we can make some profitable trades. And at this point in time, we're at a critical juncture where it's time to make some money, right? We've had enough testing. I've had enough ideas. Now it's time for the big bucks, right? So for the longest time, I thought this B wave was something other than just a B wave, but let's just put the past behind us. Now, the move down here is a C wave, right? And I reckon it's going to be quite a deep one. The D and E will follow. However, let's not get that deep into it right now because C wave is going to be pretty crazy. If you look at my oil idea, which I'll link below, you will see that we're about to embark on a pretty insane move up in oil and it's going to be reflected in this chart. Now, I'm not saying that USD CAD and oil are correlated, but just thought I'd mention it. Now, let's go to the four hour. Now, you're probably wondering, why do I have the Fibonacci's on? I don't use Fibonacci's. Well, remember, it's what, it, it's, what, it's what other people are looking at. So I'm going to look at it for the purpose of just because, right? Not because I use it specifically, but it's because what other people look at and these levels mean something to the, to the wider audience. So we're going to use this as just a point of reference, nothing more. So in this case, I believe we're going to see a bit of a retracement because we haven't seen much yet. Although some people may assume that the retracement is done, I think this thing is just getting started, right? So I do think that this market will move very fast. So you need to be extremely ready for some extremely fast price movements, okay? I don't know if you understand what I mean by that, but I mean very fast movements, like big cash very fast okay <laughs> so if you like that well you may want to listen up okay so let's enable these labels and let's just say for example that this is only getting started we have seen wave one two of wave c and now we're about to move into wave three okay so have a good look at these labels here this took a lot of effort to get these labels right. And believe me, it was a pain. But did we break any rules? Let's have a quick check on this one. I actually didn't check. Is wave three shorter than wave one? Yes, it is there. No, it's not there. Good. As long as it's not the shortest, <laughs> then we're all right. Because it, can't, it can never be the shortest. All right, good. Now, wave two is there, right? We had a um, three, three, five, three, five. Beautiful wave two, done. Okay. Obviously, wave one was a leading pattern. Now, for the juicy stuff, 
this is actually going to get pretty crazy pretty quick. So you're going to have to bear with me as I go through this because it's, it's essentially not going to take very long. So understand. Now, the first level of resistance up the top here is the end of wave two. So let's count that in. Now, this is a sharp wave two correction. Let me repeat. This is a sharp wave two correction. Okay. So yes, this is the entire wave two in this chocker block right here. Okay. Verified waves analysis. This is what I do. This is what I'm good at. Uh, let's have a quick look at the retracement because we know other people are looking at this. So let's have a quick look. That's 50%. According to GAN, that was a pretty important level, whoever that was. Now, here we have another wave one, right? There's five waves done there, okay? Five waves done, okay? One, two, three, four, five. Now, what's going on here? Well, I can see an A, half a B, <laughs> okay? I can see half a B wave. Now, we know the NFPs are coming a little bit later on, so I thought I'd do this timely. I'd spent the last probably like three hours going through every wave in just this move since March, just in the hope that I can get it out in time. And who knows, maybe even place a few trades as we go. As I do, I guess it goes with the territory. So now the one thing you need to note is that we've already seen a break of wave one low. So we've all, we're already in a downtrend. We know we're in a downtrend. We haven't seen any kind of reversal patterns. The waves don't say that. Let's quickly go back to the four hour chart and check out the MAC. D. Check out the MACD. Let's go to the daily for a sec. Okay, good. Very good. Now we can see wave three was the sharpest there. Wave five was the weakest, right? And then wave one is there. So yeah, it makes sense so far. Okay. We, you can't say that we've seen a reversal because there's divergence, right? Let me just tell you one thing. I don't use MACD to tell me when the trend's reversing, okay? That's BS. BS. Can you spell that? BS? I only use it to detect wave three price action, and I hadn't done that. And now we're in wave two. We've seen this. So, yeah, the wave three is obviously going to be lower that obviously the macd is not going to tell me what's happening in the future right i don't use macd for anything apart from telling me where wave three is okay so forget that now i'm not in a hurry remember these these patterns take time look this is an hourly chart okay however that doesn't mean that corrections can't be sharp have a look at this one right we saw a B, boom, C, D, E, boom, down. Now, this is wave three we're talking about. So we're probably going to see the exact same pattern, except it's not allowed to go above the red line. Okay, just bear that in mind. That's your point of safety. So what you should do, if you want to enter this, you should put the Fibonacci on. I think I remember hearing one guy, I think, yeah, anyway. He used to do like some kind of YouTube video on NFP knives, or probably still does it. I don't care. I don't pay attention to anything apart from the waves. So I would suggest NFPs in the next couple of hours, look for that C wave up for, sorry, C wave of B wave. So A, B, boom, and then C straight up. Maybe it's a 0.618, maybe a little bit higher, but usually around 0.618. Hang around there for a bit, probably create the, the D and E really fast and then just smash down. So this is actually the, the area where you need to be paying attention because it's probably going to do some funky stuff before it goes straight down. And I mean straight down. 
I can imagine this thing's going to do quite a point drop. Right now, that doesn't mean that it's going to go crazy. All right. I'm not saying that, but it will definitely kick off some kind of event. It's going to send this thing lower. Okay. So bear that in mind. That's what I'm, what I'm getting at here. S Remember, this is a C wave. Okay. Do you know what a C wave is? C waves can be insanely nasty. And just because we've seen this so far, that doesn't mean anything. This is just getting warmed up. So it's going to go boom. Straight to 0.618, I reckon. It may not go there straight away. Hey, don't, don't, don't think that I'm saying that. I'm not saying that. Not tonight. We're going to see ooh, all the way down, straight down, make a killing, right? Get rich, retire tomorrow. I'm not saying that. I'm saying that it's going to kick it off. It'll kick it off. And then it'll correct and then and it'll do its own thing. There'll be other reasons why it's just going to keep going and it, it will do it, right? Markets don't need news events to move, right? There's all sorts of reasons why they move and they move when they want to. Believe me, they do. They move suddenly out of nowhere, boom, boom, boom. But you just want to be behind the move when it happens, and not be kicking yourself because you didn't get into it because of whatever reason you didn't get into it because you didn't know because Harry Hindsight feels like you missed out, right? Don't be that person. That does, that's, that's not how it works. If you want to learn the waves, learn my program. I teach it. I go into depth, in depth. I can mentor you. I can teach you exactly how it works and forget the haters because they don't know anything. They're just hodlers probably. They're just hodling on. They just found some Bitcoin in the street. Now they're investors. Big deal. No one cares about that. Long term, they're going to lose anyway, unless they know the waves. If they if they learn the waves, beautiful. Going to be rich. Going to be rich. However, without going too much into this sort of stuff, I just want to say that this is a critical point in time. Okay? You know those points in time where you wish you could have got into something, but you didn't? Well, this is one of them. Okay, it's not going to repeat for a while. It's not going. You're not going to see this sort of move for a while. So just be ready for it when it happens, and then take action accordingly, safely, using good money management. Good risk reward is coming as long as you use good money. Just make sure you wait for the pullback at least fifty percent. Right? Doesn't matter if it's not six point one. These things move fast. Put. Put in a, a bloody order if you have to, right? You already know the levels. It's from the red line down to the low. Boom. Maybe 0.618. It's, it looks better to me, right? If you're, if you're game, you can do 50. It's up to you. It doesn't really bother me, right? But just just do it automatically. Do, do it just like you're a spectator. Set the levels. Put, put, the, put the numbers in your, in your broker platform. That's just advice. It's not financial advice. It's 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 Arius wave advice, right? Um, yeah, just program it so you don't have to think. Oh, should I? Should I not? Don't get emotional with this thing. It's it's it's, it's this thing should be automatic for you, right? And then it'll just happen. And just sit back, sip a margarita, whatever you do, and enjoy. Hopefully you found this interesting and enjoyable and informative. Thank you for watching.